Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Transistor, where things are getting intense. Bracket Towers Concourse. Never had the pleasure. So, let's see here. Must be Main the express lift to the very top. Maintaining. Rip barely. Why Yo. are they even here? When everything changes, nothing changes. That's the Camarada's creed, our mission. We love our city the way it is. We didn't want to see it fade because someone out there didn't like the color of the sky. Everything we did, everything we're doing, is for Cloud Bank. Uh-huh. Liar. He's lying. Why wouldn't he be? No, it's dumb. Asher can wait. What's new, Luna? Oh. It's changed. Here comes the beach. And all I can think about is Grant's sneering face. Once we get to him, what are you gonna do with him? Made up your mind. I have. Beautiful though. <laughs> Take that ball. Take that ball. Let's see. Stability test. Practice. I guess I haven't finished a speed test yet. Or a performance test. Let's try a speed test, I guess. What did I get? Just like leveling up. Jeez, that's a lot. Take us on their own turf. Thought there'd be more of them. Ooh, nice. That's the perk I get, is unlocking more, um... Now I want to know what's in door number two. Unlocking more, uh... Music. Also leveling Lucky up. door number bit. four. This time. A 
Okay. Oh. I see what it wants. I can only have two of them. I think then I will do that, maybe. There's the bell. space this time all right that was really useful where it was gain more planning potential gain a deflecting shield let's see or Good work. He's got rid of the one. problem with my health. Um, but if I put it here, that would be interesting. Last round. We got this we a jerk. <laughs> oh good.
Okay. So that's good. At least I've done one of everything. Camarada's getting nervous right about now. Yeah, because I found this cool little hidey hole, and I'm like, yeah, you guys just chill out up there. I'll, uh, I'll get there eventually. And we're back. Another new message. They've come forward. To the people of Cloudbank. We did this. We, the Camerata, are responsible for inexcusable crimes committed against this city and her citizens. This is a formal admission of guilt. I solemnly swear everything written here is true. Know that I am responsible for these heinous acts perpetrated against the city of Cloudbank. My accomplices are Sybil Rise, Royce Brackett, and Grant Kendrell. We alone are to blame. Perhaps our worst sin is you will get no justice. For now, we all share the same sentence. What have they done? Chicken, yeah. Maintenance. Uh oh. Discretion advised. Launchers. Yeah, I'm just gonna save right now. Count of three. Three. All right. <laughs> Process. Those things. They don't answer to us anymore. They don't answer to anyone. We thought maybe we could stop them without the transistor. As you can see, that isn't going well. Though I suppose you're not about to just hand it over, are you? After all we've done. Uh, no, I'm not handing over my boyfriend if he is the... Good question. Yeah. You guys were jerks, and, and so I'm assuming the transistor is the sword, I guess, now, at this point. And my boyfriend lives in it, and no, you can't have it. <laughs> Other side. Jump rating, 8.3. Great. Having fun? You know. These guys. More cropping up whenever you hit them. became a oh it became a super thing of course you know the one time I spawned that I the biggest thing in the area is uh oh wow I did do a lot of damage to that at least
some damage to it on the way by. useful. Do I get, always get an emergency turn with that being... One night, Miss Ray is nominated Red as a target for her Camerata colleagues, citing Red's surging popularity in the city and her unusual set of selections. Red could substantially advance the Camerata's agenda and was not yet so ubiquitous that her sudden disappearance couldn't be sufficiently disguised. Miss Ray's promised that the Camerata could get to Red at a time when she would be completely alone. Trace data reveals an 85% chance she falsified this claim? She falsified it on purpose? much further in a single use of turn. Um, bad cell spawn. Cell destroy chance. That's the other one I don't have equipped then. Do I have all of them? 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 5, 6, 7, 8. Which ones do I not have equipped? This one. I don't know. That's installed. That's installed. That one's not installed. need to switch that either to a passive or an active mm, okay interesting that'll be interesting little combo so we're gonna get the info on the last bit of info on this one, and we'll get one more on this one, and then just have to put it in the passive and see what it does. But I think everybody else is good to go. Excellent. Gotta be something we can use in here. Not what I had. Yeah, not what I had in mind either. See what it does. Oh. Really? Oh. 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 But I damage myself. By doing that. Oh no, that's the other guys. Okay. Okay. What's it done to my packet?
hoping to just do some damage. As I went past, I think I switched that. One more down at the end. Well, no, what end? Over here. Okay. She looks so cool. Function files updated. Uh, it's just these two. The camera on a new officer Jalifer possessed a significant or posed a significant threat as he was one of the only detectives stubborn or determined enough to refuse to accept the administration's non-committal answers about what was going on in Goldwalk. After considering several ideas that might draw the officer out, the camarada realized they only needed to be patient with him. After all, a forecaster could only predict what was already planned. After Officer Jalifer had vanished, the 18th Precinct fabricated a palatable explanation for the public. The officer was approaching retirement age, and together they agreed to name a quarter of his home district in his honor. Yikes. Uh, that evening, after his event drew to a close, Mr. Tennigan met members of the group calling themselves the Camerata. They invited Mr. Tennigan to come see what was really going on in his city. As long as Mr. Tennigan promised not to disclose any facts concerning the existence of the group, Mr. Tennigan outwardly accepted, for his curiosity could not be quenched. But he inwardly refused, for his commitment to his listeners precluded the keeping of any such secrets. First, he'd meet the Camerata on their terms. Then let's... Oh, wait. Turn this off. Select function. Packets spawn automatically. Okay, that one's... They're all, except for this one, are unlocked. Hmm. Nope, actually. I haven't been. No, I've used that one. Those are the. I don't know how to tell which ones I'm not really using. I could use that one and this one. Looks good to me. Guess you should be flattered. Hey, right? It was nothing personal, you know. You were valuable, handpicked, unique, but one of many. All we needed was your point of view to give the people what they didn't know they wanted. That's all we ever wanted. All Grant ever tried to achieve. The rest was merely incidental. Uh -huh. What good could four individuals ever hope to accomplish in this city with only their own four voices? Well, we found our answer. You have it right there in your hands. You can't have it. The ringleader's right upstairs. Round and round. Backstage access. This is a fighting area Not for now. sure. Oh boy. Spawn bad cells, young lady. Don't do that. Not nice. Oh crap. I didn't see the weeds. And I forgot. You can't just do that to the young lady. Oh, that's right, that's right, I forgot. They reached 
they respawn new ones now. City burn, my boy. Yay! I got another achievement. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe I did I, maybe getting ten files upgraded all the way. As far as anyone knew, Miss Chenigan took some personal time as one day his broadcast simply stopped. He had never missed a day of broadcasting in his life, and so his listeners, while disappointed, were very understanding and both happy and concerned for him. A significant majority believed Mr. Tennigan finally took a break, as he often promised he would one day. Since then, Mr. Tennigan's young producer inherited his show, but though listenership steadily declined to bottom out at just 22% of Mr. Tennigan's average. Interesting. So now I can rearrange things how I actually kind of want them to be, but I don't... I kind of don't remember now. It's been just so many that I've done. What did I have that made it? Nope. Bark charm duration. So whenever he barks at somebody, he would sort of switch it. Switch their allegiance? Okay. Interesting. Mm, oops. Oh. I like that where it was. Oh, okay. I like that. All right. Let's see what you guys say. Knew it. There should be another one just like this, other side of the tower. Thank you. 
<laughs> Ready for more? Okay, so we've overrided the security. Is there anything sort of viewish? No? Okay. Just checking. Oh. Polling array. Huh. Every poll he ever took, somebody here made sure it added up. Till now at least. Interesting. Alright, well I'm gonna call this one here. And I'm actually gonna save again. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna call this one here. So thank you guys again for joining me. I hope you're enjoying it. And I will see you in the next one.